my right is Makola Market. Yes. Makola. Makola is the biggest open air market within Accra. Mad market. Where if you know the section, you'll not struggle in this market yeah. because at every area you will have a concentration of sellers. Yes. So, but if you don't know, then you roam and roam yes. and roam mm -hmm. before you get your items. Now, this section that is the general post office yeah. or, or the headquarters of the Ghana Postal Service. That's the uh, Ghana Post office and to the left is the market now this section of the market have traditional dressmakers in this area and then all the fishing inputs you want in this area now we have Jamestown or Gamashi now this area is also known as British Accra I told you at the other end that the British the Dutch, the Dan, divided Accra into three. So we have Danish Accra, British Accra, and Dutch Accra further. Divided by three different devils, mm -hmm. unbelievable. Now, in cool. this community, is one of the most densely populated mm -hmm. areas of Accra. But in this town, if you get out of this van, and you pick a quarrel with anyone, and you think there are people around, so they will separate you, now lie. That's right. It's a lie. That's right. That's right. They will circle you and start clapping right. hands for you That's to, right. to fight. That's right. And you fight them, right. one get give up or you run That's away. Right. That's right. And if not, right. you if it's not too small, you go and call the brothers Thank and you. sisters and come. That's and right. they will fight. Thank you. And now all the world champions Ghana has produced 99%. All of them hail from this area of Ghana. So Azuma Nelson, Aikwati, DK Poison, all of them are from this area. Now, if you, if you are not a native here, from 4 p.m., just come here and you see people from four years, five years yes. training. Yeah. So we have a lot of gym, boxing gyms yes. in this area. Apart from the boxing, the other major economic activity for the people here is fishing. Also, this area of Accra also gives birth to a lot of illustrious gang men who were in who were in the forefront of the independent struggle. So we have the Bannermans, the Vanderpoys, and all other people coming out of this area, and the elites, the gang elites are from this area and most of the houses you see here are all over a century old some of them are over a century old then we also have the Brazilian house here where by the outside the African continent Brazil has the second largest black population and some of them decided to move back to Africa. So some of them moved to Ghana, Nigeria, and Benin, and we have their descendants still live here. So the former Brazilian president, Lula, when he came to Ghana, decided to visit the Brazilian house and also give some money for the rehabilitation of that house. Now here, the, the people here, the artisans here, what they do is to do what we call student tracks. These are all tracks that students who are going to boarding house, boarding school, they come here to buy their tracks to put in the street, to put in their stuff. So the lights are not working there. <laughs> you know, no problem. Uh, lights, lights out. Uh, right, yeah, lights the lights out. That's right. They're not they come working. Back so. um, I wonder if it was a slide out or if it just wasn't working. Yeah, well, sometimes. It doesn't work. It takes some time for the traffic uh, to come and repair them. And all this, the urban roads are their responsibility to make the light work. And sometimes it's funny though that the light works and you see the policeman at the middle because people will not obey the traffic so we had to stay. Well, well they used to the light not working. No, sometimes, no, sometimes the light works and it still stands there to make sure that you stop, you go. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it might be red, mm -hmm. and then you I've say, move on, to ease the traffic. This is 
is the all meat market. So oh, in thing. here mm -hmm. is a lot of goods and yes. sheep yes. being sold in this yeah. area. Now you will also see that on the street or uh, in the middle of the major road we have a shrine. This wow. is a shrine by the slow down. This is a shrine for the people, self family. So this is uh do quit now. So it's a shrine mm -hmm. being worshipped by people, even though I said Ghanaians majority are Christians, <laughs> we still believe right. in the supreme being of all the Ghanaian system yeah. of worshiping. Yeah, so true. the traditional Ghanaian believe that okay. God is far. Cannot be reached by just closing your hands and speaking into the air and the air. But the river, the stones, uh, uh, when ancestors, when you live good life, we believe, when you live good life and you die, you are still alive. So, and, and yes. typically, when a Ghanaian visits you in the house, and you serve him a bottle of water or a cup of water and he pour a little down, not that he's too full that, that he cannot yeah, drink, but he's just thanking the assistance for bringing that's him or can. her back safely to that place. So we have the lighthouse. Now this used to be before the building of the Takradi port in the 1920s by Sir Gordon Godesberg. This used to be a major port. Mm -hmm. of transporting items. Now it's closed down because we are doing uh, land yeah no oh, they know, are building a new a port. Uh, port. Okay. No a landing beach or what they call it. they call it landing beach mm -hmm. for the fishermen. Now this is the James Fort prison. This is a historical building not because it's a fort but okay. this is where Kwame Nkrumah was imprisoned after the 1948 disturbances, where they thought they were in, uh, involved, later he was rearrested and charged for routing, and so therefore they put them, they put him here. And in this prison, he contested for the election for the people of Odododio or Jamestown. Even though he's not a native from here, he stood against a native here, but the people voted for Kwame Nkrumah against their, his own people, Obeche Belamte. And there, he was released from this prison and became leader of government business. And then, ultimately, looked forward and became the president of the republic and also led the country as the first country south of the Sahara to attain its independence on the 6th of March 1957. So he walked out of this prison into freedom and not only for himself but for the entire Ghanaian population at the time. It also served as the prisons for the Ghana prison service but a lot of human rights activists have been talking about that is not a conducive place to correct people and therefore it has totally been closed down by the Ghana Prison Service as a jail and it's now recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Monument. Directly opposite is one of the palace of the chiefs of uh, the Ghana area, English Alata section and this very park is called Manche Abuana. Manche Abuana meaning the Deba ground of the chief. The Bible Society. Now, you also see this is the custom division of the Ghana Revenue Authority. When you see the Roman alphabet, you see the time it's set here. It's set here because it used to have the port here, and that, but they still operate it. They still operate from here. They are still operating from here. So we are still in the Jamestown area. And then further we go to Dutch Accra and then this is James Jamestown. Or Ga. Machine. Ga. Machine. No, so now no, okay, question yeah. I wanna know. Yeah. Okay, I know the port interpreting because I've yes. been there and that's where major stuff. But uh, don't they use some of the things they if I want to ship some products? Building use to a limited amount here too? No. We else? have no. We have okay. two major seaports in the country. Takradi mm -hmm. 
and so, Tema. Okay, yeah, that's right. Tema is basically yeah. for importing goods and other okay, services, yeah, okay. while Takradi is used to export our natural resources okay. like manganese, gold, yeah. and timber, and all that. And that was built by Sir Gordon Gosbeck, uh, the governor in the Gold Coast. So, Tema, so all the products yeah. I get. Yes, so Tema Kwame Nkrumah built the Tema port, okay. while the colonial government yeah. built the Takrady port. And this, um, well, the building we're passing by? Yes, the, this is also Asha Fort. Oh, That's so Asha Fort. Fort. James Fort and Asha Fort. So, uh, Diego family, a whole lot of history yes. in one small city. Now, coming up is the first insurance company to be established in Ghana, but it's not the largest. It's a private enterprise insurance, but it's a private insurance now, and it is said to be owned by the finance minister of Ghana. It is said, uh, I don't know yet, but that's what they said. And that is Standard Chartered, and then former Barclays Bank, APSA. All of them have their headquarters It's a here. formerly Barclays Bank now, so... APSA. APSA, okay. Yeah, APSA. Yeah, they changed the name, yes. Because people, in uh, they've sold their shares. Okay. So, it's now APSA. And um, I don't know if it's still Barclays in the UK, but it's APSA in Ghana now. So that's the headquarters of the GCB, Ghana Commercial Bank.